So one of the many ways that I use Notion is for doing quarterly planning. Um, there's a really amazing uh, company OKRs template, which you may or may not have seen. It's by Alex Sherwood, and he created this awesome template, which is available for free in the Notion community. I'll link to this in the video. But he has this amazing company OKRs, which is objectives, key results uh, template here. And you can see there's some great data already in there, formulas already to go. Um, but for the average solo business owner, I think this might be a little bit overkill. And so what I did is I took his template and I sort of adapted it with my own quarterly planning that I do. And then I linked it up to my weekly planner and my master task database to create something that's a little bit more practical for me. So here I've got this big initiatives and I've even renamed this as well to be more helpful for me. So I've got objectives and outcomes and tasks. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through, you'll notice this is, it's actually quite a bit simpler than the company OKRs one, because I don't find it, um, I don't find it terribly helpful. For example, I'm a team of one or two with my husband. It doesn't really make sense to have um, these quarterly results by team, by person. Um, it's just not a really helpful uh, way for me to see that information. But I still think some of the principles in here, like knowing what my main objectives are on a quarterly basis, and then knowing the results that are going to come from that, and then tracking that and having it associated with a quarter. Now, in this example, the quarters are just tags, but I have a page dedicated to the quarter. So I actually turned that into a relational database. So here's a look at mine. Too lazy to scrub some of this personal data. So there you have it. There's my quarterly goals. And I can look at that by, um, by just show me what is coming up this quarter, show me what's coming up for all quarters. And again, I can, I can show this in a number of different ways, whatever is helpful for me to view. So I've just got this placeholder here so I can see I'm sorting this by quarter. So I know the top three are uh, Q3. And if I click on that, that will actually take me to a page in my database, which I can show you. And so I've got these goals here, establish a marketing routine, pay off all debt, relaunch new website. And then with each of those, those have a number of outcomes that are associated with them. I try not to have more, generally speaking, I try to have three main objectives per quarter. And then um, often there'll be three outcomes that kind of go along with each of those objectives. And then each of those is tracked by status. And you can see um, these two databases are basically very closely interconnected. So here are all the outcomes on the left hand side. And then each of those is basically connected to an objective here. And then in this case, the objective um, objective is here. And um, I can also see now I added uh, tasks that are associated with those items as well. So those are pulling from my master task database, which I can add to or pull from. And that gets added in there. And so here are my outcomes. Again, I can see um, their progress. All of this was already done by Alex. So it's really awesome. These formulas are already kind of um, uh, already kind of ready to go for you. You can adjust them, change emojis if you want. But I find this really, really helpful for me personally. And then I've linked that up to individual weeks as well. So if you're trying to break down a big goal, into bite-sized pieces, you can actually get really specific and assign specific weeks to each of those outcomes. So I might be, you know, working on this finalizing the move from Drip to ConvertKit over a couple weeks. And so I include those weeks in there and I can actually jump in to my weekly planner for that and uh, grab more detail. And then I've got uh, tasks here. I can do tasks by initiative or by status very easily. Um, but this, again, this is my master task database, but I, I don't need to see all of the tasks. I just want to see the tasks that are associated with my big initiative. So this won't show me all of the client tasks that I have and, and other things that are in there that are personal. This is really just my sort of business big initiatives. Um, so this has been really helpful for me personally, and I can show you what this looks like to jump into this quarter. For example, if I jump into Q3, um, I, I have these 
uh, database entries, one for each quarter of the year, and then I give it a theme, I give it a date. Um, those are the objectives that you can see are pulling from that database. These are all my calendar events that's pulling from a master calendar. I've got my vision, I can jump in there. And then we know that Q3 includes July, August and September. And then each of those, if I click in September, has its own properties as well. I won't scroll too far down because I've got a lot of personal information in there regarding the quarter and my quarterly review, you know, what happened, what went well, all of those reflective journaling pieces go in there as well which I we could cover a whole separate video about the journaling and reflection piece. So um, but really, this is a way for me to at a glance, see what the most important um, things are. So let me show you, for example, if I go to my dashboard, you'll see I've got this sort of weekly overview. And then I've turned on those objectives as well. So you can see I've got those priorities are kind of right there top of mind. So if I click on that, um, I can see all my journal entries. I can see things that I'm reading. And then there's the um, the outcomes here, finalize the move. And that's pulled from that big initiatives area. And that just kind of helps it keep top of mind always. And then again, you can see my quarterly stuff is here and I can see all of that, those items. If I click on Q4, that's pulling from those objectives. So again, um, you know, my dashboard really just shows what are my high level goals and I'm reminded of them all the time. It makes it a lot easier to kind of follow through on, on what I want to do. So that kind of quarterly planning has been really, really helpful for me personally. And I just try to make it a habit of making that stuff, uh, you know, visible front and center. And um, just to show you kind of what that looks like as well, I could say, uh, create a new a new week here, September 30th to October 6th. And that's my new week. And um, obviously we, we're not there yet, so I don't have any of these things to fill out just yet. Oh, and then since, um, <laughs> since the date is not here yet, that's not gonna show up yet but um, that's fine. And yeah, again, I can jump into the month and I can see all the events, all the weeks that went along with that. The quarterly goals are right there. Um, I used to do it like this with text, but now I've got, um, now I've got that uh, database where I can pull those in now, which actually I haven't added to my month yet. So why don't I do that right now? Um, show you how I do this. Let's create a relation. Add my objectives. I could also do this for the outcomes as well. There we go. Launch notion course, create consulting offer. And that's for September. Um, now these aren't actually for September, so I'm going to remove those. But at least now that uh, database connection is ready to go. So when I go back to my big initiatives, I should be able to connect these up to the months that I want to do them. Right. So here's my month. And this one is, this one is actually going to be September. So we can add that in there. Awesome. And then I kind of know it's the quarterly goal and it's specifically for the month of September. And then these are the outcomes. And then I can always um, update my progress on that. So I hope that gives you a sense of what's possible. I know there's a lot of moving parts to this, but I would recommend to check out the original company OKRs database here and um, you know see if this makes sense with the way that you might be doing your weekly planning. Uh, again, I found it was overkill, but it was just a really, really good starting point for me personally. And it's just really helping me keep that stuff top of mind in my own databases. And um, again, now just being able to link my tasks to the bigger picture goals just really helps keep that front and center. So 
Um, that's what I've been doing in terms of my quarterly planning. Pick three big objectives that you want to hit over the next quarter. Make sure to assign them with outcomes. Get specific because it's really easy to set a big goal for yourself. But I think if you're not specific about what it's going to take to actually get there, it can be really easy to um, to just check tasks off the list that aren't actually moving you towards your bigger goals. So I hope this is helpful and I will include the link to that company OKR's template in the notes. Thanks so much.